everyone myself ashwin assistant professor in the department of civil engineering pes college of engineering mandya in uh, today's uh, class i will be demonstrating you the use of total station this is a uh, geomax uh, zip 10r pro uh, model of uh, total station we are using so let's uh, understand the basic components of uh, this total station so this is the telescope and this is the focusing screw and the eyepiece adjustments can be done here and this is the clamping screw and this is the tangential screw both are, are uh, fitted together uh, in this instrument and this, this is the display screen wherein you will get to know the readings and other settings which are in this particular total station now let us turn on the total station you have to long press this button here so it will take a while uh, for uh, starting up the instrument uh, has been turned on now now here if you see the offset values are not showing x and y offset of the instrument is not showing because it is very large the tolerance limits is exceeding that's why it is showing out of tolerance now we have to use these uh, leveling screws and also the spirit level here in order to level the instrument first so first we will level the total station okay now if you see the x and y values are uh, closer to 0 seconds so we can start the experiment so simply uh, click on ok now uh, if you see the menu icon here if you click on that there will be number of options so data collect this is where we actually start our surveying set out is used when you have known coordinates and you have to simply set the points there we will use this and there are number of apps available like area measurement volume measurement we can click on f3 to get into apps like that and data manager will give you the uh, settings related to data that is if you want to erase all the data containing in this uh, total station like that so there is if you see one slash two it indicates there is one more page you can click this down arrow mark button so there will be setting of this uh, total station calibration data transfer so we'll uh, see that later so if you press on this function button there are also some sorry click on escape and then click function here also there are number of options so we'll see that this is important so in f1 you have level and plummet so if you press f1 this level and plummet the screen which we saw earlier will be displayed all right so again i'll uh, click on function so here there is illumination on or off so this is related to the screen so if i press f2 the light will be displayed so for if you use this the illumination of the screen will be turned on so for time being i'll switch it on and i'll again press escape function data illumination we saw data confirm so this will i'll explain later so when you are taking readings so when you click on the measure button so the data will be directly recorded so if you want an option whether to save the data or not you can click on this f3 you can turn off the data confirm on or off here okay so again i'll click on function delete last observation if you want to simply delete the last observation which you have taken you can do that here also in the second page you have laser beam settings so the laser beam can be turned on always or anyway the laser beam will be turned on when you are taking readings so i'll just press f1 here if you focus on my palm here see the laser beam will be turned on and off now that the laser beam can be seen so again i'll go back to function and uh, in the second page i'll turn off the laser beam so it is gone right so that is the function of that so let's go back to function and see others in the second page so here the settings per uh, uh, settings of the total station can also be changed here in f3 you have p or non p change it means prism or non prism so you are using the reflector prism for uh, measurement of distances and uh, angles so this is the prism so if you want to use this so this will be more accurate so if you are using this prism to record angles and distances you have to keep the prism mode or else you can simply if you are uh, uh, sighting the objects you can click non prism mode now uh, we will start with the surveying so press on this button menu so here you have data collect 
pertaining to F1. So press this F1 button. So here you have to select the job first, select the station, select the orientation of the uh, total station and then we are going to start the surveying. Okay, first step is select the job, press F1. Here you have to give the job name. You can simply click or you can create a new job here. You can give the job name here, something like that and username, uh, press uh, uh, enter. Uh, select the username that also you can give something enter now this is the job name and username press on ok uh, now that the job has been activated we have to select the station so let us press f2 here so we have to give the station name here we can edit it and give us some other names also now because this is the first station we have to select the east north and z that is northing easting and elevation for this particular section so let us simply take northing as 1000 enter easting as 500 enter and elevation as 100 so these are the assumed data which i am taking let's enter and click on ok here and the station has been selected we have to measure the instrument height and type it here so you have to measure the instrument height starting from this point to the ground you have to measure with the help of tape and put the height of the instrument here now we have measured the height of the instrument to be 1.5 let's click enter and ok height of the instrument has been entered now now in the third step i have to give the orientation so because this is the first station i am going to give the uh, orientation with respect to the angle that is i am going to rotate the total station with respect to geographical north and I will carry out the experiments or, uh, or carry out the surveying with respect to geographical north. So because this is the first station we are going to use the geographical north as the orientation. Now with the help of compass uh, set the theodal, uh, total station uh, to geographical north and you have to click on this HA is equal to zero button. All right. And now uh, we have uh, set the total station to geographical north. Now I am going to press this HA is equal to zero button. Okay. Now the bearing is zero zero zero. Click on yes. Now the station orientation has been set. Now if we click on F4, we can directly start recording the points. Now uh, this is the reflector prism which we are going to uh, conduct surveying. Here we can vary the height of this prism uh, depending upon the situations. So whatever the height of this prism you are taking you have to enter that particular value in the total station. Also there is a bubble tube here. It, you have to make sure while holding the prism that the bubble is in its center of its run in order to ensure perfect readings. Uh, now we have uh, set the reflector at uh, some point and the height of the reflector is uh, 1.7 meter. Let's just the, uh, enter the height of the reflector here. 1.7 enter. Okay. Now we are ready to measure. Le I have uh, fixed the prism uh, to some point. Now uh, we have to measure at what particular distance the prism has been fixed or at what angle the prism has been fixed. Uh, I will simply have to focus I will simply have to focus the prism there and I have to click all here. The laser will start hitting the prism and it will come back and the point has been recorded. If you see the point has changed to 2. So here again I had told you the data confirmation is off. If the data confirmation is on, whatever the value was measured would have been displayed here. I will just show you that. Now I'll uh, show you how to uh, switch on the data confirmation on and off again. Let's go back to the functions. Here I have F3 data confirm. So now my data confirmation is on. So let's go back and uh, measure one more point. So data collect. The job and station are all activated. I'll simply uh, press go. I'll again cite the different point and I'll measure all. See now it is showing. Northing is this much, Easting is this much, Elevation is this much. If you want to save this data or not, you can 
give yes or no if you want to save simply press yes now the point has been stored and it is whatever the point which i am measuring next will be given as 3 okay now uh, if you want to check the values of the previously uh, stored point what you have to do is simply press this search button here and click on the last data here f2 is the last data right click on f2 and it is the observation point view now these are the coordinates and elevation of the point which we have measured so remember we had given the northing as 1000 easting as uh, 500 and uh, elevation as 100 so with respect to the this station's particular coordinates the values have changed so i'll show you how these coordinates are marked now now uh, let's say uh, the coordinates which we have uh, measured uh, from a point r 1005.686 494.444 and uh, z is equal to 100.018 meters now if we remember while uh, orienting and uh, selecting the station we had given the northing easting and elevation as 1500 and 100 meters now if you consider this origin as your station so this point will have the coordinates of northing 1000 easting 500 and elevation of 100 meters now whatever the point or wherever on the ground we have kept the reflector let's say i am uh, keeping the reflector somewhere here because here if you see northing is 1005.686 that is along the north direction the point is moving or at a distance of how much 5.686 meters right so somewhere here correct so easting is 494.444 so if the point was greater than 500 it would have moved in the positive eastward direction because it is less than 500 which was the given here so the point will move leftward so this distance would be around 6 meters right or 5.6 meters so this distance is 5.6 meters and this is 5.68 meters and this is the point where we had kept the reflector so at this particular point the values or the coordinates are northing is equal to 1005.686 easting 494 and z is z is the elevation if the elevation on the ground at the station is 100 with respect to that 100 the elevation at this point is 0.018 meter higher now if you want to calculate this distance this will be the horizontal distance from the total station to the reflector point so you can use hypotenuse rule and calculate this particular horizontal distance now uh, this is the procedure to uh, uh, record the angles or uh, elevations and everything now uh, depending upon the values which you want you can simply place the reflector on those particular points and collect the datas now uh, we saw one method of uh, calculating the distances and heights and everything now there is one more option called quick survey this is the home screen uh, which you had earlier got now we can directly use the functions here if you see there are many functions so you can use any one of them to directly get the angles and distances let's say if you want horizontal and uh, vertical distances i have fixed some point i will uh, simply focus my telescope to that particular point and i will click on measure here so we can get the horizontal distance directly see so the horizontal distance between the our particular station and the point where the reflector has been placed is 7.95 meters so 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 these datas cannot be recorded we can we have to simply write them down all right if you want to capture them you have you want to save them you want to transfer those data into system in uh, for those particular cases you have to do the method which we saw earlier also you have many other uh, uh, functions if you press this you'll have northing easting and elevation if you want northing easting and elevation of any particular points you can simply quick uh, select this and click on measure the that particular points northing easting and elevation will be known uh, now let us say we want to measure the area of these four points the area enclosed by these four ranging rods which you are seeing so in this case we can use uh, an app called area and volume which is there in our uh, total station now we will uh, demonstrate how to use that 
now uh, we have fixed uh, the prism at the first point of uh, the area now uh, let's uh, concentrate on uh, the total station click on menu and in F3 you have apps select F3 here you have area and volume option select that so again the same procedure you have to select the job station orientation and everything so I have uh, given all those uh, data I'll simply press go now it is showing you have to focus the first point so now uh, focus the first point and uh, measure it so I have uh, focused now I'll simply press all here the first point has been recorded similarly we have to travel along the next points of the area and record all the values now uh, we have placed uh, the reflector on, uh, on uh, all the corners of the uh, area now if you see the screen here so here it is displaying 4 that is we have measured the fourth point now the area of this polygon is 9.128 meters in uh, today's lecture we have learnt the basic operations and settings of total station now uh, these are the experiments uh, which are there uh, in your syllabus uh, for uh, the surveying practice lab if you have any doubts please uh, free uh, feel free to contact us and get it clarified thank you all